the big big question is who is the wife my friend i think the the the, the people at home can <laughs> <laughs> who they will know who the wife is oh, yeah it's you <laughs> So, Sean, in the training camp here in, uh, here in Austria, what is the main focus for you guys on the, on the pitch? Yeah, we have quite a few things. Uh, first of all, is getting uh, the fitness in. And yeah, we have a lot of games here. We have three games, so uh, yeah, you build on tactics. Um, uh, yeah, it's, uh, together, the togetherness uh, with each other. And uh, yeah, but it's, I think it's the main part is to get the fitness in. And how it is? Uh, how is it to be like the squad all together for for a week and and no new players uh, to get to know? Yeah, yeah. I think uh, yeah. We we just have a a nice a nice squad. You know, uh, we all uh, get along so well, and um, and I think when a new player comes, he will yeah be he will feel like home directly. So, but it it is what it is, and this squad right now. Um, yeah, it's, it's just lovely. And I know I don't want to talk too much about last season. Maybe you don't want either, but I still think it's important how you cope with um, a disappointment like it was. How yeah. has it been for you? No, it's. I think it's quite. Yeah, to talk about it is is hard because you we lost something. Uh, we all uh, together lost something. But um, yeah, we have to realize that we we had something. We almost had something, and we had something special almost. And um, yeah, I just we just won it all. Uh, we we won it again, and we want to fight for it again. And um, yeah, I look I look back at the, the all the pictures. Um, I did it once actually, because uh, you don't want to look back at it too many times because you have to move on. But I did look back at all the pictures, and um, yeah, I thought about it, and and then you think. Yeah, I don't want to be in that position again, you know. So you can use it as Exactly, fuel? I will use it as fuel, as motivation to to how do I say to strive for, for greatness. And how do you see um like your chances coming up the new season, uh, three tournaments this time? Yeah, you never know. Uh, there's a new season coming up and it, a lot of things can happen in the season. But uh yeah, the th one thing is for sure, we want to compete for uh, um, for the league, and we want to uh, confirm the cup. Uh, we have um, our first goal is to 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 get in the group stage of the conference league. I think that's the the most clear goal we have now together, and um, yeah, we have to look at that uh, step uh, step by step. Uh, don't look don't look too far ahead because we we don't have anything, you know. So we have to enjoy the moment we have now and. Um, uh, get ready for for the conference league also. But I know you have have, have had some um, injuries in your career, um, but what happened last season in the in the final game was that the biggest disappointment you've had in your career? When we lost the, yeah. <laughs> I've had some losses in my life, and uh, but yeah, this one was a hard one to take, yeah. and. Um, yeah, but it's what I say. I will, I will take everything. I, I looked at the pictures. I will take everything as fuel for, for this season, and I will give everything I have in my body. And I know the guys will do it to, to be, to be there again. And then who we'll know what happened? Also, you uh, you made a, a comeback in the last game. Um, were you really ready, or was it just you wanted so bad to? to I wanted, to yeah, I wanted so bad to to be there, but. If I wasn't ready, I, I couldn't be there. So I was ready to, to be there, but I was not full hundred percent. So um, I was actually very lucky that it was not the, a really big big injury. Mm. So. Um, Were you afraid that it was a big? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because in the in that moment against uh, Copenhagen, I felt the, the twist and I heard the sound, you know. So I thought like, no, not again. But. Um, yeah, luckily my knee uh, took the took the hit very good, so I was a little bit lucky. Yeah, uh, and now you played the first uh, 
the first training game here in Austria yesterday. Um, big victory against a, a good team. What, yeah. what do you take from that game? Yeah, all the good and the bad. Um, uh, yeah, you move on with the good things because <laughs> in life the good things are normal uh, and you learn from the, from the bad things. So, um, yeah, that's what I say. Uh, we look back at some videos, we talk together with the guys, how we want to get things done. And I think it's important to sit with each other and to, to focus on the things we want together. So, um, yeah, we can use it uh, for tactics and also with the coaches. So it was, it was really a nice test for us against, um, I think, uh, a, quite a good team. So, um, yeah, Saturday we have a game again. And that's it. This is your yeah, preseason. It is. And yeah, then we go again. And then, yeah, it's just get the rhythm in, you know, the flow together. And uh, we also have some, some guys, uh, um, some younger guys coming in the team now who can represent themselves more, fight for their spot. So that's also nice for them. Yeah, I did an interview with uh, Jesper um, a few weeks ago and asked him who he thinks going to be the get his breakthrough in this uh, in this fall season. Um, I can tell you what he said, but I want to hear your thoughts first. Who who do you think uh, is going to get the real breakthrough? Ah, uh, yeah, we have we have some guys coming up. It's uh, yeah, for, for sure. It's Noah. Noah is a wonderful talent. And he just needs to keep keep up his good work. And uh, for me, it's also Clement. Uh, Clement. Clement is doing so good. He's a nice kid also, uh, smiling, a lovely guy. And he listens to, to the older players really good, you know. He's, he's talking with us and listening and, and asking questions. So, Clement, <laughs> keep working hard. <laughs> Okay, Jesper said Noah, so uh, yeah, I yeah. think, uh, but, but you have trained now with these young players for a yeah. year uh, yeah. and seen them progressing, so, so do you see them being closer now than they were a year ago? Yeah, 100% and uh, I think also they have to because they, they are in the squad and we need them, so um, yeah, they need to show themselves, they need to be ready for, for the big tests, you know. Yeah, we, uh, in the league, uh, nobody will give it uh, for free to you, so they have to work hard. And but also Noah, I, uh, last season he, he uh, sometimes he got come into the game and he did did some wonderful things. And I think people can already see he is he's a big talent. But I don't want to put too much uh, pressure on these guys. Let just let them be, let them play football, and uh, we will take care of them. It's <laughs> good. I'm 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 sure you will. Um, <laughs> Sean, I was looking at uh, some of the contracts in the squad, and uh, you have uh, one year left now in uh, in Brandy. Yep. Is it not time to sit down with the CV and, and yeah. sign something new? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think everybody knows my 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 situation and what I think about this club. And we, me and my family, we we absolutely love it here. And. Um, and still, I have to perform because if I don't perform, yeah, then things are not sure at all. But um, we absolutely love it here. I just, yeah, and then we just we, we will see what happens, you know. Um, in football, nothing is nothing is sure. But um, yeah, that's what I can say. We absolutely love it here, and if it's for me, I would I would talk with the club. And let's see what happens. But could you see yourself like ending your playing your last uh, years of your career in Brandy? Yeah, why not? If my family loves it here, and um, if it's if it's possible, if I can still reach top and top level, then why not? It's it's one hour from from the Netherlands, and my family can come over very quick, and uh, my my kid is doing well in school, and. He is making friends here, and if I have to move them every time from the, uh, this place to another place, it's also not good for them. So I will keep that, that always in mind. So um, yeah, it's not only me who is signing a contract, I have my family behind me. So yeah, we have to talk about this, and uh, then, uh, then we see what will happen. But if CV asks you tomorrow... If he asks me tomorrow? If you want to sign a new contract, what would you do? Uh, 
then we have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will be a nice chat. You can do it, both of you. Huh? Yeah. You know, we're on our honeymoon. <laughs> you guys? Yeah, we I share room and you know, our bed is like... Yeah. But maybe you can come here yeah, and come tell, and the, come tell, the, tell the people. Come and tell to the, to the camera. <laughs> curtains around our bed so we can close it down and have some privacy. Yeah. Go, give him a kiss. Uh, we, sleep, we sleep like this to each other, really close, you know. It's like, oh, yeah. The big, big question is, who is the wife, my friend? I think the, 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 the people at home, can <laughs> who, they will know who the wife is. Uh, yeah, it's you. <laughs> we were just talking about new contracts, so he, that you yeah. can maybe sign them together then, huh? Yeah, I sign if he signs. It's a package deal. Okay. And then we also have one more guy. I will guy. talk to CV then. It's Oi and Wes oh. and Kleiber. <laughs> yeah, you are like a... The gamless. The, the gamless. <laughs> but yeah. you're also training Quist, I see. Like, he's hanging out, uh, out with you also. Yeah. Now, Quist, he, in his head, he thinks he is uh, 31, <laughs> but he is still uh, 22 or something. How old is he? Yeah, 22. He's just a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I'm I quite actually am a lot with Quist, also the club. And we play golf together, and he's just uh, Chris is Chris. He's he's energetic, and he is lovely to to talk and uh, to be around with him. It's, it's nice. But um, so so you you love it here. Your family loves it uh, here. Um, how have you experienced also your relationship with the fans? Because the fans also love you being here. That's for sure. Yeah, from the first moment they give me uh, goosebumps. You know. It's uh, the fans give me such a nice feeling, a feeling I've never had actually before in my life. In Utrecht, yeah, Utrecht is my home, my hometown, my home, my 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 club, and uh, the fans were a little bit hard on on homegrown players for some reason, and still they are. And in Ajax, in Ajax, I played without fans actually because we had a Corona time. Mm. So um, and the fans here are just amazing, and it's. Yeah, it's not only for me, I think for everyone, what they do. And also the last game, you can see the the, the vibes they bring to the stadium, the, with how many people they were marching. I think you were marching also, no? It's, it's unbelievable how many people were there. And we also have this big um, photo, like um, in, in, our, in our gym with the, from the march. And it's... Uh, yeah, it's amazing. We talked about fuel earlier. Yeah. Is this fuel also? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, they give you the... Yeah, they give you the the the, 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 the extra 1% you need. And uh, it's not only in the in the home games, also the away games. It's mm. I've never experienced something like this before. We go to Randes and they have the whole stands for themselves. It's like a home game for us. Yeah. So it's it's amazing. Are you surprised that you know, also you, you always make your homework when you go to a new club, of course. But now after I've talked about you and and Ohi and, and also Pins and some of the guys coming from abroad to Brumby, being really overwhelmed with okay, this yeah. is a really big club and the fan base and yeah. and but at the same time this family feeling. Like, were you, have you been a little bit surprised about Brumby? Yeah, the f with the fans, hundred percent, because you never know. And you never, you will never know how they how, how they react on a player. But it's it's uh, yeah, it's amazing, and uh, we we talk about it a lot also with the guys in the, in the squad, and um, they just give you this good vibe. It's and it's not when you lose a ball in the game, they will not whistle. They will just, you know, it's. They, they, they just give you a good feeling, and uh, I've been I've been to to places where where home teams they will lose a ball and the and the and, and the crowd will turn against them, and that's not what I've what I've experienced here. So that's one thing that's that's really nice, mm. and and it's just a working to it's just a working together, you know, um, because we are one. The players and the fans are one, and I'm a player. I need I need the fans. If I don't have fans, my my energy level will, will go down. So, um, yeah, keep up the good work. 
it was just a perfect match, I think. I think it is. I think it is. Um, are you still dis disappointed from yesterday evening? With Holland? Yeah. Of course. You want your country to, to win. It's a brutal way. It is, but football is brutal and we experience that for, for ourselves. And football can be, you can be very high in emotion, emotions and very low. And that's the game. And that's also what nice is about this game. Uh, it's the emotions go everywhere, you know, mm. from left to right, up and down. And um, yeah, but in a few weeks, nobody will talk about it. Next game. Uh, uh, people, if you play a good game, people will say, yeah, what a player, you know. Yeah. Who are you going to cheer for in the final? England or Spain? Yeah. Spain is playing fantastic this tournament, so I will say Spain. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, they are playing fantastic football. Uh, the young guys on the wing, going one against one, against uh, every time against the fullback. Uh, it's just so nice to see. Yeah.